Yeah. Right. yeah. Welcome to 230 Dudes. I'm Antonio. And I'm Charles. And this week we're actually topical. Yeah, we're like on point. On point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Normally our shows have nothing to do about nothing but our yeah. own interests. Yeah, right. Whatever we feel like learning that week. Yes, but today yes. we are all about you guys and March Madness. March and Madness. Final Four. We've been all about March Madness for the last like three weeks. Yes. We're both in pools. We're both talking about it. We've watched some games together. This is what my bracket looks like now. <laughs> and this is mine. So I was done early. Yeah, a little earlier than I Charles was. Charles hung in for a little bit. But Michigan State killed both of us. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I had them going to the championship game. You had them winning them all. Winning it winning all. Winning it all. Yeah, yeah. winning it all. Um, but what we ended up with in the final four is a one seed, two two seeds, and a ten seed. The first ten seed in the final four history. history. That's right. History. Yep. So, big Cinderella story. Yeah, absolutely. Syracuse pulling through. So, let's start with the Oklahoma-Villanova game. Okay, because that's a 2-2 a a two -two seed. A 2-2. Two -two. Two -two. I actually think this is a harder game to decide. Okay. Now, i got to put this disclaimer out there. I'm not basing any of my picks on the skill level of the players. Okay. They're all good. They are all good. It's the, they made it to the Final Four. Like, yeah. even if it's a Cinderella story, like, they ball. Yeah. So... I feel like it's kind of a wash in that sense. Okay. You know? So the first game we've got is Oklahoma, 29-7 and seven record, yep. versus Villanova, 33-5. and five. That's right. Charles said they both are two seeds. Both two seeds. Now, what I'm going to base mine on is history. Okay. okay. So in Hawaii at the tournament, December 7th, Sooners beat Villanova by 23 points. But that's in December. In December. That's when basketball's starting. Yep. Everyone's still trying to get the flow of things. Yep. Oklahoma may have just already been on a roll and Villanova wasn't ready, but Villanova remembers that. 23 points, beginning of the year. Now I get to face you in the final four. I'm rolling with Villanova. Yeah. Yep. It's their, it's their like, uh, what, what would you call it? Like, Get back game, get, get, revenge get back, game. Yeah, right, revenge yeah. game. Yeah. yeah, it's a revenge game. Yeah, don't call it a comeback. That's like. a really interesting... Like theory, yeah. I and I hadn't even considered it <laughs> when I'm making my picks. That wasn't what I thought about. Now, obviously, the track records, right? Villanova's had five losses. Oklahoma's had seven. Yes. I think that's something that stands out to me. But what I'm basing my pick on here is what I have watched in this tournament. Okay. And I'm saying Oklahoma is a better team. Better team. You I don't think, think Villanova's on a roll right I now. I think Villanova's on a roll, but I think Oklahoma looks good. They're sound in every possible okay. way. Defense, offense. They're ready. They're playing like a team. Villanova looks good, you know, they're, they're, they've got some moves. But I think, I think this is an Oklahoma game. All right. But I agree with you that it's the toughest call of this whole thing. I do think it is the toughest call. Right. So Charles has got Oklahoma. And I'm rolling with Villanova. Right. Any point by how much spread you want to give? Like how much Oklahoma is going to beat Villanova by? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be less than six points. Yeah, I think Villanova wins by no more than five. All right. All right. Next game moving on. North Carolina Tar Heels, number one seed. Against the underdog, number 10 seed Syracuse. Again, first time a 10 has ever been in Final Four. Yeah. So North Carolina's 32 and 6. Syracuse is 23 and 13. Yes. And they barely even won their last game. They yeah. came they came through in like the last eight minutes of the last game. But they're clutch. They're clutch. Now again, I'm basing mine on history. Okay. Because it's obvious UNC has a better team. Yeah, they're, they're, they're clearly <laughs> yeah. better, right? But Syracuse is on a roll. UNC has beaten Syracuse twice this year, home and away. Mm -hmm. First game by nine points, second game by only five points. Do you know how difficult it is to beat a team three times? I'm sure it's hard because you it's, learn some things. It's one of the right? most, I mean, beating a team twice is difficult to do, right? So that's, but once you accomplish that, I feel like the third time you kind of overlook them. Okay. Because you beat them twice. Okay. And even though it's a Final Four and UNC clearly knows they're the better team, we should probably win the whole thing. Yeah. Syracuse is taking them down. Okay. Okay. A couple points. I'd say, I'll say <laughs> three, three to four points Syracuse wins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that there is no doubt that there is an appeal to an underdog story. Earlier this week we were talking about uh, Coach V. Yeah. We, we were having this conversation. 
Uh, there's a, there's an appeal to the underdog. I get that. Syracuse has been a true underdog story in this tournament, and I think their underdog story ends here. No, it's but it's not even the underdog. It's just you, it's hard to win against a team three, three times. times. Yeah, but but it's North Carolina. Man. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, if it was Kansas, Syracuse, or something like that, I might be having a different conversation. Okay. okay. But North Carolina is just man. They they're are, good. They're good. They're really good. They're really good. North Carolina's got two strong players, Johnson and Johnson. I like that. Right? Uh, Baby powder it up, slap some right? Syracuse Yeah, players. exactly. Yeah, you know, Band-Aid, whatever. <laughs> uh, but Johnson & Johnson are on point. They're both averaging really high in every game. Uh, uh, one of them is pulling in like over 16 points a game. Uh, I think I think in my mind there's no doubt on this one. It's a North Carolina game. So you got blowout? I got blowout. I'm going to say, I don't know, they beat them by 12 points or more. Okay. So that leaves your final with... Oklahoma, North Carolina. North Carolina. Which, honestly, I did not predict, as you saw earlier, but I, I, I could have. <laughs> like, I could have picked those teams for the championship game. I just happened to go Kansas, Michigan State. So who are you taking out of your final? I think it's going to be a North Carolina uh, championship this year. I so really UNC do. rolls to the top. Huh? I think UNC rolls to the top. I think it's a one-seed game all the way. I will tell you this about UNC. They're loose. Like, when you see them at a press conference, yeah. they're having fun. They're taking selfies. Yep. They're cracking jokes. They're like comfortable. Yes. Yeah. My final is Syracuse Villanova. <laughs> and I think Villanova wins. That's where Syracuse story ends. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right? Villanova takes I'm glad the national to hear championship. some sanity come out of your no, mouth I'll, finally in this. <laughs> Syracuse will beat UNC, but they're not gonna win the title. Okay, okay. It's not gonna be that type of Cinderella story. All right. But Villanova goes out on top. So Villanova. North Carolina, those are our predictions for the championship game. This has been the final four from the dudes. From the dudes. If you're thinking about, you know, calling Vegas, placing some bets, I say listen to me. I think you might want to listen to Charles, <laughs> but if you've got some money to just blow, there you go. man, you can make a couple extra bucks. Oh, man, if you take Syracuse all the way and it actually happens. Well, I heard there's a guy who placed a bet on Syracuse to win the whole thing. From the beginning? From the beginning, and he's, he's primed to win like $100,000 or oh, something. Oh, I'm sure. I think it was like a $1 bet. Yeah, that's crazy. So. Good. All Final right. four. Enjoy it. Watch it. Have some fun. We'll be drinking and watching it. Yeah, next Monday. Yes. Thanks for watching.